Welcome to Pay to Play Impressions for Far Cry. This is a PC game from 2004. Ubisoft was a publisher and Crytek was a developer. Then in 2014, they re-released this game as a Far Cry classic for Xbox 360 and PS3. Now, there were also games called Far Cry Instinct, Evolution, Vengeance that were released for original Xbox, Xbox 360 and Wii, but um, they started with the premise of this game and then they modified things and uh, removed... Uh, well, it's not as much of an open world in those games, and but there are other abilities and that given to the character, the ability to dual wield and so on, so they, they're not the same game and I haven't played them. So overall, so this game is an FPS with an open world approach. That's what you need to know. It's... Um, like I'm going to go right now into the settings and show you a few things here that as you can see I have turned up everything here on the very highest and I have no issues running it at 60 FPS. Now if you want to know what hardware I'm using it uh, will be in the description. Run it. And um, what else to mention? Well I'm just going to load up into some uh, section of the game to show you how things are. Not too far in, not to spoil anything into the plot. But here we are. We're going to load this in. Also I'd like to note that I am using mods on this game. There's a um, an official patch of 1.5 installed on this game. There's a widescreen patch that uh, makes it allows you to play it on widescreen monitors and also adds uh, some other fixes for graphics to the game. And finally, there's an upscale texture mod that I'm using to improve the look of the textures overall. So, given all that, I'm going to show you right now how the game looks like. Hopefully, everything's going well. well it's still loading, but hopefully, everything's going to run okay. Here, here we are. Um, as you can see, it's a very lush, uh, tropical type of uh, situation. We are on a tropical island, so that's no wonder we are seeing this uh, this way. And um, it's, everything's pretty clear. Everything's, uh, you can see clearly what's what. Uh, enemies are pretty clear, easy to understand, although you do have to kind of uh, use sneaking around and uh, kind of crawl up and sneak on them. They will hide from you, and the game will not going to be always up, obviously telling you where the enemies are. But... Um, it's up to you kind of uh, to find uh, ways to around and to get to see them. There's also a few tools that are available to you like binoculars to actually see the enemies. In this case I know that the, this enemy on the tower because the map tells me because I scouted the enemy ahead before. Now I'm going to wait for the enemy to show up here then I'm going to shoot him as soon as uh, he shows up. Well he is but I can't shoot him there I need to do a headshot here. Hopefully he'll come up and uh, somewhere else and uh, we'll be able to do a headshot here. Oh, not exactly a hot shot. Oh, and not exactly a kill shot either. So that didn't go that well. So hopefully he then he comes back. Uh, to and, and then we'll be able to do a few more shots. So that kind of is approach to to the game you'll be taking. Overall, the premise of the game. Well, the premise is that you're an ex-military person and uh, well. Also throw in some grenades there. There we go. That 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 dealt with him, but that also alerted everybody in the area now to me, and that's not good. That means they all be coming at me, and that's the reason you shouldn't be doing this kind of a uh, uh, you know run and gun type of approach to the game. But might as well do it now that we already it so deep into it, right? Um, it's no point uh, to try to do something else. There's a sniper there. Hopefully we can... Oh, we can take out the sniper this way. There you go. They, they, the sniper killed us off. So this is not the way to approach the game. You do have to sneak a lot around, but that's not always possible. There are kind of um, areas which are not uh, sneakable. By the way, there's uh, several difficulties uh, for the game. I'm playing on the highest, and uh, there's also ability to have the kind of... Uh, the, uh, yeah, it automatically adjusts uh, the difficulty for you. I didn't use that, but um, maybe I should have. Maybe that would have made the game easier for me because I there are situations which just got me totally frustrated. So overall, like I said, visually good. Um, I give you the premise of the game: you no know, tropical island, uh, ex-military step on you, run around uh, shooting enemies because um, you transport the person to the island, and um, now you, you know things happen. Now you. Trying to save yourself, trying to save that person, and on and so on. So there we go. Uh, and I don't know why we just had a hiccup on the visuals. Maybe that's because I'm recording. Maybe because I'm loading the game too much. Maybe because I've been running the game uh, in the background was was kind of uh, rehearsing. Not sure. Or maybe you know combination of all the elements. Uh, when I was uh, playing the game, I had no issues uh, with the game always running at 16. So what else uh, should I? Uh, 
mentioned oh the oh we saw the actually the cinematic in the game i should mention that cinematics don't always work in the game uh uh there are some that don't really work for some reason some work some don't um for that reason uh if you want to really know the story the game doesn't really tell you the fact that cinematics uh don't uh pick up on the full story it doesn't help and so as a result i would say you should consult the manual to know it's actually what the plot is and so on um otherwise you kind of be piecing together things the game tries to tell you through the gameplay but like i said some stuff is missing but the game does teach you everything that you need to know so you don't really need to open up the manual to learn anything else okay so uh i'm gonna try to crawl up here i'm gonna show you the situation here uh there's a helicopter here and this uh, ship is one of the areas where you can't really do much in terms of open world because it's a very close in places but I don't have to deal with a helicopter by going up there and uh, firing at it there. It's possible. But there are other enemies up there as well. So I don't want to deal with those, all those other enemies. So instead I'm just going to go ahead and um, deal with, enemy, with a helicopter from here. Where I do have more cover and cover abilities to deal with a helicopter. I'm just going to approach from here. Helicopter will eventually decide to get down. gonna use that fact and it didn't work but that's basically the approach that uh, it's possible to use to get to get to get like so I said like you can just uh, try to find a different way around which is pretty good so overall like I said all these elements are great uh, they all work so all, all, all is fine um, I'm just gonna load up here and show you the idea about why I need to be on there things things ahead so you know things where the enemies are and so on like that kind of stuff so that's what you will be mostly doing in the game you'll be playing the campaign like I'm doing right now there's nothing much there to do else there's no multiplayer that exists because Ubisoft has turned off the servers so that's it what else to mention um, well also I would like to mention the fact that uh, let me get up here and uh, I'm gonna crawl up and use a Village for cover, so I can actually re review what uh, what am I getting myself into. See, there you go. I can look up other different uh, enemies here, and uh, there they are. Like I can, the game shows me, and as I look them up, game marks them on my map. So now I know where these things are, and so I can try to avoid them. And this is what uh, you tend to usually, you know, how I approach the uh, most of the maps here is to you try to avoid as much as possible the enemies only kind of engage them whenever you have no choice now there are issues with this um, uh, approach because that is the fact that uh, the game uses a uh, save point system so you don't know when the game decides to save so you could actually crawl halfway across the map and then the game will decide finally to save or maybe it doesn't and you get killed and you have to repeat the whole exercise all over again that's what i think also frustrated me that and uh I think and the fact that this story is pretty generic here is that in the end it's why I decided not to finish off the game because it was like okay well I get the situation, the story, it's not that fun and uh, kind of going through all this uh, over and over again um, you know through different maps and kind of learning the lay of the land making sure that oh, I know how to take down this or that enemy so that the other ones don't respond and so on ends up being not that interesting. Again, I'm really not sure why I'm getting slowdowns. So, like I said, maybe it's something to do because I'm running uh, recordings right now in the background and streaming this and so on. So that might be causing the slowdowns. Usually I have no issues with uh, 60 FPS running this game. So, uh, so that I would say this is uh, that's you know this is not something that against the game that you're seeing here. This is uh, this is something on my end that's a problem. So. That's, I would say, that's uh, overall, generally, everything that uh, to say about the game. So it's a, it's a good game. No, elements all work. Everything works. Uh, so I cannot really kind of uh, uh, complain about that part. It is. Uh, he's down. There's another one down. This going to be number three somewhere. Uh, so I'm just gonna crawl up through the village again, hide myself so that uh... there we go. So that's usually the approach that you should be taking. So, but I actually 
what should, uh, should be in, they've been saying is about the coolness of this game. And I would say it's a cool game. The reason for why it's a cool game? Well, because uh, the game does have a uh, cool element, such as you can paraglide and shoot rockets from a rocket launcher at the incoming helicopters. That's pretty cool. If there was more of those kind of elements, it would have made the game even better. But um, it would have, you know, even higher in a cool, ra cool rating. But the, you know, those elements so far have been limited. So I would say it's a good, cool game. Well, that's all I have to say about this game. Thank you for watching and for listening. If you like this video, please like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. And please follow and subscribe.